You eloped, I understand, uh, in Tijuana because your family didn't fully support Never. your marriage That's to right. Senator McCain's father. You know, I see now what they're, it took a long time for me to figure it out, but I was so young, and of course I was still in school, and of course they'd objected. And my mother didn't know anything about the Navy, and I think she had a, you know, like a sailor, what a sailor has a girl in every port. <laughs> <laughs> I think she had heard that. Would you mention the establishment that uh, in Tijuana that uh, oh. where the marriage took place? I'm going to kill him. <laughs> uh, it was T Caesar's Bar in Tijuana. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's still going. And that's where they uh, invented uh, Caesar salad. So you were a bit of a maverick. Is that where your son gets his streak? <laughs> I don't know. I was just young and stupid. No, no. But it all worked out. Oh, yes. I knew, I knew that our that I was terribly in love and I knew that it would be for life, and it was. How were you able to get through all those years when your son was in captivity? Well, I do have faith. I have, I, I have faith in God's will and that's all I ask for. I think that was harder in some ways on my father because he was the commander of all the U.S. forces in the Pacific. And he was ordered the bombing of B-52s of Hanoi and he knew that my prison camp was there. And of course he carried out that, those instructions and gave the orders without hesitation, but it's still pretty tough on a father. Every single night he prayed on his knees. And I have a, a prayer book of his, an Episcopal prayer book, where when you know your hand finally will just be oil and wear the paper out, those papers were just worn out. Let's talk about politics and okay. this campaign. <laughs> You don't like when your son's age is brought up, do you? No, no, I don't mind. When you think about the experience and what he's accomplished, as opposed to a man who two years ago was in the state legislature in Illinois. So that is a big minus in my view. That's uh, why I have to uh, take with, her with me wherever with, I go. <laughs> with someone with so little experience and mm. then who has the most liberal uh, uh, record of voting in the United States, and I'm no liberal. You speak your mind, don't you? I know that <laughs> back in January, you said the Republican base was offering no help whatsoever That's true. to your son. Do you think he's getting the help he needs? I don't know. Ooh. I really don't know, and I'm not equivocating. I don't know anything about it. Do you ever say, Mom, please, zip it? That wouldn't I, do him any good. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I think at 96, she probably has earned the the, the right to express her views in the interest of full disclosure. Mention that from time to time we have spirited discussions oh, yes. because we don't always agree. We do not. <laughs> what is the biggest issue it's of disagreement? Issue, it's such a, a, a big issue, I'm not going to break it up. You really? It'll start to fight over right now. It'll just start all over. You can't right tell me? Sometimes no. it's. I don't want to fight on television. <laughs> <laughs> what are the big issues? Oh, no. Look, one thing about my mom, she really does keep up. She watches the news. She reads the newspapers. She carries them around with me. And so it's kind of issue of the day kind of thing when, right. we, when we discuss, what do you think about this? And philosophically, I think we're, we're pretty well in tune. <laughs> what are you going to do for your mom for Mother's Day, Senator? Tell her how beautiful she is. <laughs>